Every year during the Lenten season, the Holy Father comes out with a Lenten message to help us in our own contemplation and renewal as we look forward to the joy of Easter. Interestingly, the Lenten message of the Holy Father, Pope Francis, this year is entitled, Through the Desert, God Leads Us to Freedom. If I may just quote part of that message, the Holy Father pointed out these words. Lent is a season of conversion, a time of freedom. Jesus himself, as we recall each year on the first Sunday of Lent, was driven into the desert by the Spirit in order to be tempted in freedom. For 40 days, he will stand before us and with us, the incarnate Son. Unlike Pharaoh, God does not want subjects but sons and daughters. The desert is the place where our freedom can mature in a personal decision, not to fall back into slavery. In Lent, we find new criteria of justice and a community with which we can press forward on a road not yet taken. Powerful words from Pope Francis to help us in this road to conversion and renewal. You know, come to think of it, conversion is not an easy trek. The word conversion comes from the Greek word metanoia, which means a change of heart. And when we talk of a change of heart, this necessitates our total selves. We can convert by using our minds, understanding what it means to change, but if not with the heart that leads to action, we fall short of conversion. And I think the Holy Father uses that image of the desert. In the desert, we know we see an image of dryness, perhaps an image of death, an image of emptiness. Positively, it could be also a place where we are alone, a place where we can be alone with God. And in so doing, what actually happens that is that in our being one with God in the desert, then we can be able to commune with Him, to pray to Him. We know of many desert fathers, even saints, who have entered silence and solitude in the desert. And because of this, they were sanctified they experienced God in their lives. Perhaps the Holy Father is inviting us to enter our own interior desert, a movement to commune with Him from within our hearts. And when we do so, perhaps we not only get in touch with what is deep within ourselves, what is going on in our lives, our inner turmoil, our inner concerns, our worries, our anxieties, even things that disturb us. But deep within, we get in touch with God. For within us is God. You know, when we were baptized, we already received this great gift of divinity, human as we are. And because of that gift, we are able to commune 
with no one else but the infinite God. And we're able to pray. So perhaps the Holy Father is inviting us during this season of Lent to commune with Him in prayer, isn't it? To pray to Him and in so doing to listen to Him. Pope Francis has already prescribed this past two years or so this challenge to synodality, to journeying together. But that journey starts with no one else but God, isn't it? As we have heard, the conversation in the Spirit is first and foremost our conversation with God. And we do this by means of prayer. What happens then when we pray and listen to God in this walking together, in this journey? Well, we are able to know His will, what He wants of us, and what He wants of us so that we can take the road not usually taken in the Holy Father's word, words. What is that road seldom taken? It is the road to true freedom. I think Pope Francis specifies that if we want to enter honest-to-goodness conversion, we must become free sons and daughters of the Father. Brothers and sisters in Christ, freedom is to choose the Lord. Freedom is to choose God. Quite a paradox, isn't it? Because many times when we understand what freedom is, you have many choices. Others would say indefinite choices. But think about this. You have a choice, good or bad. Definitely you choose what is good. Heaven or hell, definitely you choose heaven. Satan or God, you choose God. Logically, freedom is to choose heaven, to choose what is good. To choose God. Dear friends, we are blessed during this season of Lent as we approach Easter to choose God in our lives. And if we do so, we experience the resurrected Christ in our own lives. Dying to sin leads us to rising to new life with the Lord. I hope that when we experience the joy of Easter, we will truly say we have matured in our Christian faith. Our prayer has led us to Christian love. Our prayer has led us to become free children of God, choosing Him and choosing eternal life. God bless you all.